Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to my video. So in th today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint um, coffee, a smiling cup of coffee to perk up your day. Get out your Apple Pencil and also your regular stylus view if you are using either one. And let's join me as I paint this uh, using Taya Swiss Sketches Pro. Okay, let's, let's see it. Let's start off. Uh, with Taya Sui sketch, uh, Sketches Pro. Press and hold to bring up these um, options. Let's create a new layer. And I want to have a reference photograph of the cup. So I think this will do just fine. If you want, the best way and the easiest way is to trace. So let's do some tracing. Let's make a new layer. And now, let's make uh, using this pen tool. And we're just going to sketch. So you can actually turn around and just follow. It doesn't have to be so exact, just a rough shape. In this painting, I am just going to uh, draw the cup, not the saucer. So Taya Suisse Sketches Pro, you cannot rotate the canvas. That is why I am rotating my iPad. As compared to Procreate, Procreate enables you to rotate your canvas. Okay, we're done. Uh, not yet. So let's draw the coffee. And that's it. So take note of the shadows, where the shadows are and the lighting. So I'm now going to make this small, the reference picture. Put this one side. Okay, we're done. Now, the fun part begins. So, right now we are going to paint the cup. So, let's take the paint, the watercolor brush. I'm going to set the size to a much bigger size. And then let's choose the color. Let's see what we have. Something close to the picture. Press and hold this to bring up the color well. The color chooser picker. Okay, I like this. I will add this to my color strip and I'll begin to paint. Can't really see, but that's okay. Let's undo that. Let's make use a bigger brush. Can you see this? So it's still small. Can see. Let's choose this color instead. No, still not. Okay, I think I'll stick to this color. If you want to know what this color is, uh, I'm just going to let you see. So this is the color values in the hexadecimal code, and. That's it. Okay, let's cancel that. Okay, so this is the color that I am using. A bit, a bit smaller. Now, if you can't see the background, that's okay because we can always change the background color. Let's change the background color. Let's erase that. I am going to choose a different color. Maybe choose a color and let's see how about this color let's add to that okay cancel we can always change the background color later on so let's paint do a quick one so I am using the Apple Pencil if you are using a regular 
regular stylus with that rubber tip that is fine too I have been using that for I think now it's close to about two years using that to paint it's perfectly fine but uh, I will make a video to show you the differences between an Apple Pencil and a regular stylus as well as uh, compare it with a 6B pencil I'm going to make another video about that so that button there that I pressed that is uh, to dry the paint now there are some messy bits here but that if you want to settle if you want to do something about that let's try and erase this is the blur part it's not a very okay let, let's see what it does see that let's make it smaller and let's erase a bit just stroke a bit on the outside okay and we're done it looks it looks quite good actually so let's bring up the watercolor brush again let's make uh, choose the smaller size because this area is quite small let's paint in the handle now I hope this uh, video won't be too long so I'm going to do it very quickly and you guys can also do this very quick, quickly too it is a very easy painting we're gonna draw we're gonna paint in the, the shadows much later okay let's paint in the interior the inside of the cup okay it's okay if you paint paint over here because we're going to draw we're going to paint in the coffee later okay and that's it and dry now let's make a new layer and we are going to paint the coffee let's choose a different color let's choose this dark brown I think we'll go I think this color is okay let's let's try this okay I think it looks good it looks a bit it looks brownish okay let's just paint so take note of your reference photograph and let's try and paint it in okay I think this is okay alright we're done here so if you notice, there is this thing, this line here. That was the coffee <laughs> marks stain. So let's let's try and do that. We can do that by pain by lowering the opacity here. Let's try and see what happens. We can do that. Okay, now a fun thing to do is look at this. This is the wet on wet brush. We can actually you set the opacity to very low, the lowest, and the size of your brush. You can make it big or small. So I'm making it about this size, and then at the edges. Look at the edges. I'm just slightly pushing it out. That's how I do it. Pushing it out. It's as if the water is running real water, water color, and dry, dry that. Let's paint again over it, make it defined, a little bit defined, certain parts of it, and again use this wet brush. and 
just run through like that. Okay, looking good. Dry it. Nice. So now we're done with this. We are going to make another layer. Now this layer will sort of clean up the coffee layer here because if you see it it actually bleeds into the main cup we don't want that so have your new layer here we're going to draw we're going to paint using a small brush make sure the opacity is right now opaque use the previous color that we have used before which is this one is this the same code? yes it is now let's slowly color it in okay I'm going to rotate my iPad okay I am happy with this I guess so I'm just gonna just paint it over okay dry so I think this is okay so now let's let's do some fine retouching so if you can see here this side the paint we can actually see through the paper from here so if you don't want that let's let's paint it over make sure it is in the original this layer the one that we had done previously let's color it in just keep it a nice stroke like that as if you're really brushing it using a real brush okay and I like to use this just slowly work it out pushing it out a little bit yeah go back to the brush and just do some fine tuning some fine slowly let's move here let's see done here and let's dry it okay now let's go back to that f the, the most recent layer that we've created and now we are going to add um, the this what do you call that the reflections where the light source hits the cup so let's choose this color this I think is pure white let's check it yes it is so use this and I think I'm gonna set the opacity to about 70 percent and let's make sure your brush is slightly small thin and let's paint it over like that give it a nice edge shiny alright here as well and done dry it next let's have a bigger brush set the opacity to about 70 and let's let's have fun let's brush I think I will make it bigger. Just brush it over like that. Haphazardly. But in this kind of flow, in this direction. Now, use this water, water brush and just push it out the edges. And 
done, dried. This one as well, because if you see, the light source hits the handle here and a little bit here on the inside. So let's do that. Brush, make it a small one, and let's paint here. And a little bit in the here in this position in this area. Now use this wet wet brush and just move it out. Okay. All right. Now the the next fun thing to do is the shadow. So let's get out the this color. Some dark color. I'm not sure what color this is. So let's have a look. Oh, it's black. Totally black. And But you, I have to make sure that uh, it is a big brush and the opacity is set to about 25%. Let's, let's see what will happen if I start to paint below. Okay, I think it looks okay. Just slight, slightly. The shadows are somewhere here. Okay, and the shadow is also here. And lower the size a little bit. Shadow is here. Let's take out the wet brush. I think I'm going to make it bigger, the size. Let's push it out. Just like that. Push it out. And this one as well. Done. See, is it still recording? Yes, okay. Now, smaller brush, set the opacity to about 35% and just have some detailed work. Some, I think I will lower it to about 25%. Okay, done. Let's have some, def make some definition have some definition. The insides of the handle is a little bit darker. So let's paint over and let's reflect that. This one as well. This one I need a bigger brush. Okay. Now use this wet brush. Just maybe a bit smaller. Okay, just play around with it, just slightly, and this one as well, push it out, and not forgetting here, dry and we have our cup can you see that this is fun isn't it so now let's um, let's hide this layer so you can see this let's make it into a very fun looking cup let's put a smiley face use a pen and a black use a black ink and now let's see what we can do It's a bit too. I think it's okay. Let's let's, let's use this. All right. 
You can actually make it make the the eyes thicker if you want. I'm just doing it like this. Smile, not forgetting the rosy cheeks. Let's have a big watercolor brush. Set the opacity to about fifty percent, and then use uh, maybe this color, this pink color. Let's see what value this is. View in case you want to follow. So this is the value, and let's just paint over it. And that's it. So as I was saying, you can actually change the color of the background, the paper. So I want this watercolor, so I don't want any color. And that's it. I'm going to hide the reference photograph. And now let's have some fun drawing the background, just some a bit of a shadow. Let's make a uh, big watercolor brush. And let's choose maybe this dark color and let's try to roughly oh maybe I need a bigger brush smaller and now use this wet brush just just play with it just big strokes out push it out and we're done maybe some uh, a bit darker smaller brush some define it with some darker shadow under the cup brush done okay all right so that's how I draw this using this so you can also follow along I hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video you can share it with uh, your friends and family who likes to draw and paint check out my other videos if you like there are many other paintings that I have in my playlist visit that playlist in my channel if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can get notifications if you subscribe to my channel. So don't miss out, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.